Hi. I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing crescent moon under the astrological sign of Sagittarius. And this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Leo. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the new moon message for Leo? Hi, Leo. Leo, you're not going to believe this. This is like about the third time that I have tried to do your reading. That's why the cards are here. You know me. I'm always letting them drop. But these are the similar cards that have appeared each time so i'm just leaving them here this time we're going to start with this card here it's new moon energy in aries and it's time to take action that's what this card says under this new moon it's time to take action leo step into your power take action um, because nothing is set in stone, you know, so until something is set, set in stone, spirit is recommending that you go with the tide. You know, the tide is pretty powerful under a full moon and he's suggesting that you go with the flow because when you go against it, the waves are too powerful, especially when the water's choppy, you could be going through some issues you know, but whatever you're going through, take it with a grain of salt. Like, go with the flow. Don't overreact, right? Because once the sea becomes calm again, prosperity is ahead. You're going to see that you went through some choppy times, but things end up successfully, you know? Even though you went through these choppy waters... What lies ahead makes you happy, you know. Um, you're glad you didn't give up, right? When the going got tough, Leo didn't give up. You, you stood in your power and you took action even though it was difficult. And then when you get to the other side, you get the blessings, <laughs> And then somebody sees you getting those blessings because there's some type of negativity lurking. Okay. So Spirit said, can you just get some cards on the table and stop running your mouth, Moody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Spirit. Give me some more cards. Current and future energy. Leo, under this new moon, what is it? Mm. Wow. Uh-oh. present. You're grateful. You're grateful for some abundance. Uh, you're grateful for where you are. You come in feeling good. That's good. Feeling good. Mm -hmm. In spite of something not going right with love. So maybe in the beginning or maybe you're taking some action. Maybe action was taken in the past because a love situation wasn't working out the way that you wanted. The, the waters were choppy. Things weren't going right. Right? Causing somebody to put their guard up. Somebody's guarded. Somebody... Oof, 
was guarded against somebody who was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you could have had your heart chakra open and somebody was guarded towards you. Like you were going to let them in, but they weren't reciprocal towards you, Leo. Yes, uh, and therefore, hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have um, missed a love offer with you, blown love so somehow because they didn't express how they felt. Or when you tried, when you offered love, they were guarded, like they didn't allow you in. They were not receptive and um, they were kind of closed off, you know? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody feels like now they want to address that. You know, um, now is the time to address why they were guarded um, when you were trying to offer love. Uh, there's something that needs to be um, discussed so that it can be released regarding this situation. Because truth is at the center of the reading and it's like it's reversed so there's a lack of truth there's a lie because something is not open it's not mm. Mm -hmm. karma is here current energy shows somebody dealing with karma regarding a lack of truth which is causing a situation to be closed and something not to oh. somebody's fixed you're a fixed sign and this is a time to be mutable especially when it comes to love and it comes to being truthful about love mm. really expressing the value how valuable it is to you somebody um being truthful about their worthiness. I don't know. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, it's like now is the time to do something concerning love. Um, expressing it. Being truthful. Being honest about it. That's what's going to make everything good, better. Somebody have a more valuable, prosperous, healthy future by releasing whatever. There, there's a lie here. There's a lack of expression. Something's being held back. But it's time to release it so that something new can take its place. It's time. It's time. You open up with the first words, it's time to take action. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, somebody self-absorbed, narcissistic. Mm. That's why this Venus is reversed, truth is reversed. There's a lack of openness and receptivity because there's somebody who self-absorbs. Who is that, Leo? Tell me. They're very one-sided. They, uh, you definitely, yeah, that is what's creating such choppy waters currently for you. Mm-hmm. This narcissistic energy is making it difficult currently and impacting the future. Definitely impacting, you know, because this, has like it has to be contained it's not something that's supposed to go into the future that's why you're being told to release it if this is around you it's time to let it go because you've got new moon energy coming in and that's going to be much better for you much better for you yeah you're going to meet somebody new all right once you let this go release whatever is not truthful whatever 
oh, there is something maybe that needs to be said. Somebody was guarded when they should have been vulnerable. Yes, I do feel like that. They didn't express. Like one party was vulnerable, but it wasn't reciprocal because they were closed. They weren't open. Hmm. They're getting karma for that. The truth is they're getting karma for that. You know what's coming in new? Somebody. Leo, somebody new is coming in. But it's like there's a blockage. They can't get in. Like they're trying to get in, but they can't. Because there's something that still needs to be released. There's something occupying the space. Somebody won't let them in. They can't open the door. I don't know, but there is something going on behind the scenes that's not truthful. Yeah, and it has to do with the narcissist. They're very clever, you know. I don't know. There's other women, other men, competition. It's like a five of wands. Um, there's other people, or this person is seeing other people. That's why... They were guarded when they should have been vulnerable. There's something here that's a lie that pertains to love. Causing some choppiness. But they want a new soulmate, something new. But in order to get to the other side, to get to the prosperous side, to get to what lies ahead that's better for them, they have to release this negativity towards you, Leo. Yeah, they can't get to the other side without doing what? Right by Leo. Okay. Tell me. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Mm. Leo, they feel like they have insane chemistry with you. That's why they don't want to, that's, there's a lie concerning love. It's like, they don't want to let you go. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> this is energy that like in the past, they didn't recognize you when they had the opportunity and they had their guard up and they should have been vulnerable and you approached them openly, open hearted, but Either it wasn't recognized, it wasn't reciprocated. Either they didn't show you who they were because they were so guarded. But either way, it was negative, right? And so now they're receiving their karma for that. And, you know, the, the selfishness they're dealing, some of them are getting a taste of their own medicine. And they're, you know, it's a backlash type thing. But what I see is that in order for something new to come in, for you to get to the other side, tell me about what lies on the other side, this prosperity that lies ahead. Abundance. Yeah, once you can get to the other side, um, you're going to be happy that you did not let this stop you, that you kept going, that you had a positive mindset, that you continued to manifest until you got to what you want, you know? And, and you know what? In the end, all you have is self and spirit. And when it's just the two of you, and you're able to release everything else, right? Lies, what you didn't tell yourself, what you allowed to happen to you. Whatever happened in the past, you release that because it was negative. And focus on self and your spirit guides. Just you and spirit. You become like the hermit, right? That changes everything and you ascend because it's only you and spirit. You cut everybody else out. That allows ascension, which leads to abundance. Whoa. 
that's what we're talking about with this new moon energy coming in. You know, really transforming, leaving the past behind and opting for something new. And when you focus on something new, the past obstacles seem to vanish, you know, because you're focused on where you're going, on uh, leveling up spiritually. That focus leads you right to abundant situations, abundant people, a positive mindset brings positive situations and opportunities to you. And, you know, when you're manifesting for what you want and you're in this spiritual ascension, it comes quicker. It comes quicker because it's only you and spirit. It's like you cut the, re release the rest of the world and only focus on you and what you're manifesting, what spirit is telling you, your intuition, having faith that it's coming. All of that allows the transformation, allows you to get to the other side, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, sometimes Spirit sends a boat and um, we have a means of transportation, but we don't get on it. We don't get on it. I don't know where you are here, Leo, in this reading, but you always have a choice, right? The center of this reading is an opportunity for to express a new perspective, to see the truth and then clearly express it, state it through your actions. Somebody needs to come clean with you, though, because this is at the center of the reading. And until they do that, things aren't going to work out in the future, just like things are not currently working out and things didn't really work out in the past for them. Until they release these narcissistic negative ways and transform their self, get to the other side, get past these choppy waters, surrender and go with the flow. Until they do that, it's almost like um, in the color purple when Whoopi said, until you do right by me, nothing good is going to come to you. That's what I feel. Until they do right by Leo, nothing good is going to come to them. And it's possible because I do see, like I said, the self with spirit guides. And that can change a whole situation around. Right? So it's very possible that they can return by doing right by you. I don't know. Tell me, spirit. Mm -hmm. Because, right, you know, and remember I said they can return and do right by you. Because that would then rebalance the connection. Right, because they're bringing honesty and truth to something that was a lie, right? And because now they're getting truthful, you to learn to trust. You know, the truth, an expression of truth, getting honest for what you did in the past, the part you played, is what then changes the whole situation around. It makes things more mutual, right? It does. It, it helps to bring some trust back. Clarity always restores trust. Absolutely. Absolutely, Leo. So, I don't know. They may have an opportunity after doing some self-spiritual discovery. Mm -hmm. There is some ascension here. They do come back with abundance. The sphere says keep a positive mindset. You never know what could happen. And um, you do have um, some mutual energy going on in the future if they do um, do some self-discovery with humid, with humid, with as a hermit, with spirit. And then they return back to you ready to shed some honesty 
on whatever this lack of truth was. All right, Leo. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Let's pray for truth and honesty to prevail. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. Okay. Until the next moon phase, namaste.